Um, before I say my question, I would like to thank Google for inviting me. Um, I'm, I'm a 15-year-old Android developer, so to get opportunities like this is very, very, I don't know, very rare for me. Welcome to the community. And, and, I, also, and I also like how Google's promoting um, young, young students and other um, university students um, to become Android developers, because I really think it's a good opportunity for them. Cool. Welcome. Um, so here's, here's my question. Last year at I.O., I won't mention who, but um, I was, you know, I was considering it, but um, when, um, this was when uh, view model and live data and other architecture components were under rapid development. <laughs> okay, you found out. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what did you say? But basic, basically, he said that it was okay to use um, these beta libraries in production. Um, my, qu my obvious uh, question is, is this still true? And for newer um, libraries like Compose, Camera X, um, and, and other Jetpack libraries, um, should we consider using them, or are they just mere ideas that we should consider for the future? So it, it depends. The official answer is never use like beta libraries on production. Uh, yeah, but like, so the thing is, if you catch me in a bar or like talking here, I will say yes. <laughs> Uh, the, <laughs> but the, uh, it's like, the, the, the thing is, like, we, we are tracking these numbers, and we know like every library, like thousands of apps, starts using it on production, and we know these numbers, how many sources they have, like before we make something stable, and that's the confidence we have. If if no one ever tries to use these libraries before they are shipped, we will never get the feedback. And you will go back to the old days, like two, three years ago, where you would always wait a point one version of support library before start using it. We don't want to be there anymore. Like we want people to be able to use the stable version. For that, we need some people to try the alpha beta libraries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so we need that help. If someone does it for us, it's very lovely. But if you don't want that, and like we know many companies don't, and we're also trying to accommodate for that. Like especially if something is new, it will have a long alpha beta period. But after something stabilizes, we are trying to shorten the timelines further and further so that we can get like fewer features but quicker and more stable versions. And you probably want to make a distinction between alpha and beta, and especially pre-alpha, which I believe Compose is at Actually, this point. Yeah, I can come, yeah, that's true. Like, Compose is pre-alpha. It's like dev, we called it. Uh, and for, for Android X libraries, when we call something alpha, it is, it is not that it's unstable, it's that API is unstable. We don't even know what we are doing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so things may change a lot. Uh, but uh, like we have seen like there, there's thousands of apps ship with Room before it even become beta. Like, and people use them production. So that might be okay. When we say beta, it means the API is stable, so you won't need to change your code. And when we go RC, that means we don't have any more bugs, that we're just like waiting for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> bugs that we know about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, OK. And if nothing comes, it's going to become stable. If another bug comes, it's going to be RC2 and another two weeks. <laughs> I think, that I think there's also something new that we're seeing with Jetpack, which is while we're shipping a static library, you have the ability to test that in your app. You are shipping that code with your app. If you test it completely, you're happy with the stability of things and the functionality that you get from it, then it is your decision whether to ship with that. Right? The API may not be stable, but if it solves the problems that you needed to solve and you have not detected bugs in your thorough testing suite that you run all the time, <laughs> then you can make the proper decision. Right. It's a little different than writing to something that's you know, alpha in the platform and we may change the bits out from under you between previews, right? Yeah, my favorite example of you know, what app developers actually do was uh, I think constraint layout. Nicolas was telling me that when you reached the first beta, it was installed on a billion devices. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> thank you for... <laughs> You're crazy? Uh, thank you very much for answering my question and uh, sorry, Yeet. <laughs> Thanks.